next morning, my plate mold, I guess, is all the way dry. It's kind of cold. Um, Where are we going? Um, for breakfast. I'm going to take the kids for some breakfast this morning. Trying to get them to go get dressed. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some latex in here. Patient. I know, I want chicken nuggets. They don't have chicken nuggets this early in the morning. You can't even buy chicken nuggets this early. That's food, Peyton. I love chicken nuggets. I do too. All I right. do too. I think somebody wants some chicken nuggets. So there it is. I just put a, a just a, a thin layer of uh, latex in there and we're gonna go search for nuggets I guess <laughs> thin layer of latex in there we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna go get breakfast let's do it come on let's I only did one layer on this uh, this uh, latex I actually already pulled this off so this is a reenactment so you're gonna use just some cheap baby powder and a brush you're gonna put some baby powder on your uh, on your uh, latex mold, and you're gonna you're gonna brush it around on there because latex sticks to itself. Okay, so you're gonna get that all on there, and then you're gonna slow you're gonna put a little bit of powder on your hands, and you're gonna slowly peel this peel this mold out. Like I said, I've already peeled this out. I forgot to record, and bam, there you have it. A face appliance. Zombie teeth. You'll actually trim this up some. I'm gonna, you know, I'll actually cut this in the middle here so, you know, the mouth actually opens because you want to be able to open your mouth as a zombie. Trim it up, put this on with some latex, and there you have it. So I cut this into a two piece. Prosthetic, and oh, you know, I didn't even think about that. I have my Have You Seen My Zombie shirt on. That's hilarious. And this one will go up here. And you want to make sure it goes over your lip. I trimmed it to fit around the nose a little better. It's on my mouth. Pan mold, not hard to do, and pretty dang cheap. Also, just Googled Tandy Leather, because that's something that uh, Alan from Silby Studio talks about all the time. Holy crap, we have a Tandy Leather factory here in Austin. So I'm going to go check those guys out and uh, give me some leather dye or some leather stain. Yep. Okay, everyone. So there's my uh, zombie mouth prosthetic. Just a little bit of uh, a little bit of blood in here. Just a couple of different colors. I mean, I literally did this in like two minutes. So, <sighs> with a little more time, a little more practice, I could have a lot of really awesome zombies, actors. And it should peel right off. And now I'm a country zombie. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> yep. Latex pulls right off. Bam. Wow. It's kind of jacked up now over here. Gotta go clean my face. All right, my face is all clean now. I'm pretty sure they can be reused. I would only reuse them on the same actor. So 
I wouldn't I wouldn't share them with with uh, different actors. So I wore this one, so I'm not gonna let another actor wear this one. I would wear this one again. So I'm open usually for two nights. So what I'll do is uh, I'll label them. And if the actor wants to wear it the next night, they'll have it and they can use it for both nights. And then I'll probably just get rid of them. So um, you don't want to keep this thing because it's kind of grody after you use it. So, But I couldn't wait. Wanted to put it on. A lot of fun. There's the lower chin area. I did a horrible paint job. I just threw some crap on there. There's some really good tutorials on how to uh, on how to paint this latex. Uh, one of the really good ways to do it is to really water down the paints and do sort of a uh, sort of a, a tea staining um, to get all down a lot of these cracks and details. And uh, that I didn't do. I just really caked a bunch of junk on there. So uh, you can get a really awesome paint job out of these. These edges aren't all that feathered on these. Um, I'll work on trying to, when I do the cast, on trying to get these edges a little better. And I was also working on my face. It would be easier on another actor's face to blend the edges a little better uh, so they don't really show. So, Okay, okay, here's the real commenting on comments. And I have my sleeve up because I just put the aquifer um, stuff all on here. And it's starting to kind of, uh, the, the color will slough off eventually. It's starting to peel a little bit, so it's itchy. So my shirt's making it freaking itch. <clears throat> all right, ABC Noise 2. First, you can't already be marking things off the list. It's too early. Does your mom know that you're mixing plaster in her punch bowl? <laughs> There's a few people that make comments about the bowl. That was from the Dollar Tree. It was a plastic bowl from the Dollar Tree. It just looks all fancy, snazzy. Danny and I see a 12. You could have someone be the news anchor and then have the news anchor in your haunt as a zombie. Good job on the mold. The zombie mouth turned out really good. Can't wait to see how the silicone um, pour turns out. Yeah, That's a really good idea. I'm going to write that one down. I've, I've started writing stuff down about how I'm going to do the zombie theme. I have a really super awesome idea, and I'm not even going to tell you guys what it is. Trib 27. Thanks, Steve. I knew you had a high-class haunt, but man, using a fancy punch bowl to mix your plaster? <laughs> That's just pushing the bar a little high for the rest of us, isn't it? <laughs> that one really... You guys both made me laugh, um, Christy, uh, Trib 27, on that one. Ghoulish Cop. It looks like you have an ambitious build schedule plan. Good luck. Oh, and go Giants. <laughs> Sad panda. Cowboys lost. <clears throat> um, Haunted House 1408. Yes, first time I got a COC. I like abbreviating, abbreviating it. Otherwise, that could sound really nasty. <laughs> awesome mold. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, the poor Cowboys. Not as bad as my Vikings, though. Man, what a crap year for football. Anywho, <clears throat> cool mold. Can't wait to see it done. And keep putting um, <laughs> curfew at the end of your vlogs. It cracks me up every time. <laughs> that was the Boneyard Creep. Uh, that's pretty funny. <clears throat> yeah, curfew's a really cool cat. So, uh, Shadow of Palms. Dude, the zombie teeth are amazing. What a great idea. <clears throat> you always blow me away with your creativity. Um, I need to do something like that for my haunt. Thanks. <clears throat> Appreciate it, man. And uh, like I said, just really go online, find some cool stuff. I found some freaking awesome pictures of today of some other stuff. I want to do like this part as a as a prosthetic, like the the high brow that comes up, and then kind of like the high cheekbone as a, for the zombie to really bring out the zombie face, and then I'll have that mouth. And I'm going to probably make a couple of different styles of mouth. Um, some that may hang down and some different. I'm going to, that plate mold is so freaking easy. I'm going to make more of them. Ember Pub. It's like a symbol thingy. It's the big circles with the big open mouth like, oh. That's what she put. 
Joyzy Gal, Steve, the teeth look awesome. I can't wait to see the results with the latex. Don't make us wait too long. Well, you've already seen it now, haven't you? I was like wanting to freaking pour latex in it, like literally when it was still freaking hot from curing. I can't believe I even waited till the next morning. It was like, ah, it killed me. Geyser 463, the sculpt and mold came out really well. Thank you. <clears throat> and JHMDF, for the pipes, are you planning on drilling some small holes in them and hooking up a fogger? Yes, I was planning on doing that, uh, just like the Spirit Store did, and I've seen a few tutorials on it. Um, Scary Lady Videos actually did that, uh, or had that prop. I think she, I don't know if she made that prop or not. I can't remember. I had to go back and look at her videos. But absolutely wanted to put fog into it. Uh, for the shears, you should paint them silver and then lightly rust them up. Your teeth look sick, man. Oh, yeah, the, the scissors, I just stuck some in her hand. Like, I don't, they're not even, they fell off already. Like, the rubber bands came loose. I'll definitely um, really have some creepy scissors. I'm going to make, I'm going to make some really big looking scissors, but I'm going to need to make it out of some thin material so they're not heavy. Uh, I don't want to strain that little plastic motor that's in there running her. But yeah, I'm going to do some crazy, rusty, bloody scissors and have some like uh, like dolls maybe chopped up underneath her with fingers laying on the ground and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> Devil's Gate Cemetery. Teeth look great. Can't wait to see them finish. Oh yeah, that's going to be... the. Um, it, they turned out way better than I thought, so I'm definitely eager to do more. Dean Hunt 4417. I see that you have the sliding coffin lid on your list. My buddy from NorCal Haunts did a great demo of this. If you want me to send it to you, teeth look great. Absolutely, Dean. That would be freaking awesome. I wasn't sure really how I'm going to do it, so if there's a, a way that's already proven to work, I can use it. And last comment that made it by the cutoff, FF looks at 40. Hey, Steve, just thought I would let you you and the others know that you can find the zombie glass at Spencer's online. I should have guessed that since Spencer's Gifts was my first job at the local mall way, way, way back in high school. Now off to order a few glasses. Awesome. Cool. So I don't even have to ask. Thanks, guys. And get your haunt on. Or get your zombie on. Yum, yum. Say bye, people. Say bye, Say, Kirby. Get your haunt on, Kirby. Say, get your haunt on. No? <laughs>